Welcome to the November 5th Borough Council meeting. Um, please note for the record that Council President Lavenberg will be late for the meeting due to a work uh, commitment. And we're starting the meeting at 7.01. So let's please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, we'll start with personal appeals part one. Anyone from the public who has a personal appeal, please come to the microphone, sign in, state your name and address, and you have five minutes to state your appeal. Tom Kajelsi, 137 North 2nd Street, Emmaus. My first concern is the section 2nd and North Street. There aren't any crosswalk signs, there's a lot of traffic. People walk their kids back and forth to school, people walking their dogs, whatever. It's a heavily walked area, no crosswalk sign. Uh, traffic is extremely heavy when the compost center is open because a lot of people from the north use 2nd Street to get to the compost center. So I inquired about this before, but no action been taken because by the time I asked for it, the lines have been painted in the area. Last year when they were painting the yellow curbs, I was too late. But this year I know they did some fancy lines painting in the area, but nothing at 2nd and North. Next is uh, Howard Street. As early as September 19th of 1997, I was informed that the borough manager, from the borough manager, who is no longer here, uh, that Danny DeWong would uh, start working on this alley. At the time, it was not named, so there was a problem. It wasn't ordained. However, on the, about November 13th of 2001, I got a letter in the mail that the alley would be ordained. There was a draft down. All the neighbors were notified, and I'm pretty sure it was ordained at that time. However, ever since then, there's still no work been done on Howard Street. Recently, Cherry Street, Howard's at Hauser Street, Wayne Street, Paul Street were all resurfaced a little further to the north, and yet nothing's been done to Howard Street. And I would wish someone else other than the borough manager, uh, the street supervisor, they've all been there, Danny DeLong, Jeff Clapper, Jim Farnsworth, the carrot man, they've all been there, yes, we must do something. But nothing's been done. So my appeal is for someone with authority to come out there, look at this alley, and see if you can't get anything done. It's a real safety hazard. The ruts are so deep that low-lying cars, sports cars, will be hitting their bottom, and it's a, a hazard for the people walking their dogs or children through there. Okay? North Street, uh, again, the corner of 2nd and North, there's crosswalks, and Howard Street. I appreciate any response now or questions. Just want to point out to you, sir, that individual council people have no individual authority. They can go out and look at it, but it has to be done by a unified body. I understand body. that. So, uh, the real, so really, the part person in charge is the manager and the public excuse works. Me, the borough manager took pictures of it three years ago. I understand your complaint. That's different, and you've made that now. I'm just trying to point out to you that if you have one council person go out there, that's not going to make any difference than if you had two council people go out there. Well, I am just appealing for someone to look into this matter. And that, like I said, I have that's valid. From the girl as late as, well, as early as 97. And that, sir, is a valid point, and I'm sure it will be addressed. Thank you, Mr. Gadusky. Anyone else from the public have a personal appeal? Hi, my name is Andy Lee. Uh, it's not so much an appeal. I'm just uh, introducing myself. I'm running for this district tomorrow, for District 131, uh, against Justin Simmons. I'm not, uh, don't know a lot of people in Emmaus. Um, I, grow, I live in Coopersburg. Um, 
but it's my first time in politics. But I do know that uh, right now we have to have a change. Um, I'm a, a father of three, a grandfather of one. My son-in-law is a Pennsylvania State Trooper. My wife was in the education system, uh, guidance counselor, and uh, I'm a small business owner. I own two restaurants, one in Bethlehem, well, officially Bethlehem, but it's actually Center Valley, it's Taps Tavern. And I also own one in Hellertown called Braveheart Highland Pub. I employ 70 people, and I'm running because I want to get out and see what's going on in our community. I know for, uh, from what I've heard, you haven't had a lot of success with the current uh, uh, state rep coming, even attending these kind of many meetings. I plan on being here often, as often as possible. I feel the role that I'll be representing is more about you than it is about me. Uh, if you don't know what's going on, then how can you go fight for the people in your community? Um, actually, I was very close to having my third restaurant in Emmaus, um, but that fell through at the Lee Gribbons um, location. So I just wanted to get out, say hello, let you know who I really am. Um, there's a lot of things that are on the internet. A lot of things that are said, uh, most of it not true. Uh, if, if it is got truth in it, it's false, it's half truth. So I just want to come in and say hello, uh, introduce myself, ask you to all go out and vote tomorrow, uh, vote with the, what you think is right for your community. I know for a fact I will fight on your behalf, and uh, you have my word on that. Um, and that's what I hope to do for the people of District 131. So thank you, and I'll sign this document here, unless somebody has questions. I was going to say thank you for coming out. Yes, I, I do think that that actually means something to come to these meetings. Uh, you know that you have actual representation. There's a lot of things that we have to go back to the state for, especially when it comes to funding. And so having well, a maybe roads. Uh, yeah, exactly, exactly, and right. and many many other things that uh, come about. But having a representative that. Uh, we feel is part of what's going on, I think is very important. Well, so thank, thank you. you. Anybody else? Well, hopefully you all get out tomorrow vote. All right. Thank you, Mr. Thank Lee. You. Right. Anybody else from the public have a public appeal? Hi. I'm not sure if this is the proper time to talk about old-fashioned Christmas. I just wanted to provide an update. Would this be the time? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. All right. So my name is Ashley Laura. I'm just wanted to reiterate that in case anyone was unfamiliar. I am the Emmaus Main Street Manager, and I just wanted to provide an update about what the committee is working on to draw people to the borough. So looking at our schedule of events, it's very similar to the last year, but we're trying to update it a bit. So we're doing a Cheers Trail again, which is the drinking trail that leads participants through downtown businesses. Um, upon request, we've extended the hours from 12 to 4 to 12 to 5 because it was widely well received. And we've also extended it from 125 participants to 200, just welcoming more people to the area. Um, we've had great reception from business owners, but we still have time to get in more. Our goal is to have 20 businesses on that trail. Um, and already thinking about next year we're considering doing one for chestnut street strip malls because we've expressed we've heard concerns about not getting enough attention down there so we want to address that um we're doing candy cane lane again it's more of a children's trail where they go to the different historical alliances and do crafts and learn about their those organizations um we'll do the movie a movie at the theater um free with a canned good we're going to have lots of music. Um, this year we tried to incorporate local music, so potentially Michael Montero from Montero Violins and also Pastor Cherry from the Church on the Triangle. I'm not familiar with the name of the church, um, but we wanted to draw in more locals to kind of get others um, excited about their neighbors. Um, in addition, we'll do trolley rides through town with Polar Express conductor, um, name painting on Emma with calligraphy artist, Lower McCunji Middle School choir, sing along, children's tree decorating after their um, Candy Cane Lane, um, Santa and Mrs. Claus arrival, and photo with Wesley Works. Thank you. <laughs> uh, the tree lighting, and then kind of wrapping it all up um, with more musical ensembles. But um, in addition to that, our Schedule events will also feature some people from uh, some events that are happening around town that aren't necessarily ones that we've organized. We just want to encourage people to come downtown, whether it's with our event or another one. So with Mace Public Library, Seven Gen, Martial Arts, First Presbyterian are people who've reached out to us saying they've had, they have events that day and we're going to help advertise with them, uh, whether they're members or not. Um, so in addition to 
The Cheers Trail while we're also doing holiday doors and windows contests, so it's just something else to kind of brighten up the borough and um, get in the holiday festive cheer mode. Um, and though the Cheers Trail and the holiday doors and windows is not limited to just members, it's open to non-members as well because we want to be inclusive and encouraging to come down to the borough. And then finally, I met with Jay from Public Works to kind of set things up, so I'm already trying to establish that relationship and maintain a good um, connection with him. Are there any questions about Old Fashioned Christmas and what we have planned? No question. I just want to say it's always been a great event, and I'm sure you know everyone in town will look forward to it once again. So thank you for putting it on. Yeah, of course. Thank you for your help in putting it all on. It's a big event. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Laura. Anyone else from the public have a personal appeal? Okay, being no more, no other members of the public here. Uh, the community minute. Does anyone from council have a community minute? <clears throat> council uh, Schultz, we. Uh, I just want to thank the Mays Arts Commission for the. Uh, we had the 14th annual Student Film Festival uh, on Sunday, and it was uh, very successful. Um, Congratulations to the, the winners in the middle school division were Lower McCungie Middle School, and in the high school division was Liberty High School. So it was a nice turnout, uh, 25 films. It's a, it's a great event. The kids have a good time. Councilman Anders? Uh, just one quick one. Um, if anyone has seen our Emmaus High School um, field hockey uh, team has won 30th year straight, I believe it is. Um, their, t their title, it's an incredible streak, um, great coaching, and um, it's just great for the community there. So just wanted to throw that out there. Councilman Barrett. And even though it feels like it is forever ago that the parade and race <laughs> happened, <laughs> we are in November now, but it's the first time that we've had an opportunity to comment on um, A big thank you to everyone that helped um, make the race come together, uh, especially our title sponsor who gave $2,500 to help um, finan financially with it. That was uh, First Commonwealth Federal Credit Union, who will have a new branch opening up where the old Wendy's was, um, they say, in the first quarter of 2019. We'll see if it gets there on, on time, but um, much appreciation to them. And we had uh, 399 registrants, uh, which is uh, above our, our normal average. Our, our maximum that we've ever had was uh, 459, and that was the previous year. Um, but 399, almost 400, is a, is a great number to have. Uh, we, we, we raised well over uh, $10,000, which is excellent. Obviously, there's costs that have to be absorbed to that, but we'll be able to give a, a larger than our normal donation to uh, some of the other organizations that each year we find need some additional funding, um, including, I know this year we have our, is it 40 years in a row for the summer concert series? Uh, the race has always given funds to that, so I know they'll be doing a little bit more, and hopefully we'll be able to give a larger uh, donation to them as well. So uh, again, thank you to all of the sponsors that helped out, but especially our, our title sponsor. That was a, a big way to step up for a new business. Thank you for your efforts also. Anyone else in council have a community minute? Councilwoman. <laughs> I just wanted to remind everyone, November 8th, 2 to 3, is the library's uh, children's wing ri ribbon cutting. So that's exciting. That's been a long time coming, and that's happening this week. Thank you. Anyone else? Only two of us left. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, do you have any? I do have one. I would like to thank all the borough workers for their efforts after Friday night storm and the work they did over the weekend to you know, help clean up some of the mess from the weekend storm so thank you uh, special present moving on to special presentations there are no special presentations tonight the reading of the October 15th borough council meeting minutes does anybody have a motion to approve the minutes councilman Anders second councilman Shubsta any corrections questions or comments all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. Motion passes six to zero. Next is decision on bids. There are no decisions on bids tonight. We'll move on to communications. Uh, the first communication we have is for the appointment of Eva Cyber, 1921 Duffield Court, Allentown. 
request appointment to the Community Garden Commission. Is there a motion to appoint Ms. Seibert? Councilwoman McManaman, second. Councilwoman Baumgartner, um, any questions, comments? Yes. Um, that would be a term expiring 1-1 one, one of 21. So that would need to amend the motion. That would need to be in the motion. Do you like to amend the motion? I amend the motion. The motion has been amended by Councilwoman McManaman. Amend your second. Second, second has been amended by Councilwoman Baumgartner. Comments, questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. Appointment passes by a 6-0 vote. <clears throat> Next one is communication from Wendy Barkas about the appointment to the Community Garden Commission. We're going to refer that to the CRD committee because there has not been an interview yet. Next is a request for appointment to the Emmaus Arts Commission by for Bernadette Getz. Uh, again, we're going to refer that to the CRD Commission. How many more uh, vacancies do we have to fill? For Arts Commission? Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? I read that. I thought that one was also Community Garden. My mistake. <laughs> there you go. But actually, yes. How many do we have for Arts? So we have, we have two resignations coming. Okay. Uh, the Waddells are both, um, we'll call it retiring. Okay. Uh, after their term expires soon. Uh, they've been in it since the beginning. Its inception. So yeah. we're, we're losing two very valuable members. So uh, I think that opens it up to three or four openings. They're not retiring until February. Right. right. Okay. 2019. Good. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I, I misread it. I did read not, that. Not it was a problem. That. We're good. <laughs> All right. So the next one is communication from. Uh, Melinda Yesenia Cameron uh, requesting an appointment to the Emmaus Arts Commission. We're going to also refer that to the CRD committee. All right, the next communication is a request uh, from Ashley Lohr, the Emmaus Main Street manager, for a pop up Christmas tree shop on Triangle Park. We are going to refer that to the Parks and Recreation Committee. Does Anybody else from council have any other communications to bring forward tonight? Okay. Moving on, there is no borough's engineer report tonight. Uh, next is the solicitor's report. Is there a report from the solicitor? Uh, very briefly, uh, we had a, the beginning of a preliminary injunction hearing lasted all day on November 1. Very arduous, uh, very... Um, Heated, I think, might be the best way to put it. The judge, it's not completed. Unfortunately, uh, Mr. Pepe is still on the stand. Uh, he's done with his cross, but there are uh, there's another lawyer involved, and I get to redirect. So, unfortunately, I cannot have him discuss anything about his testimony uh, by order of court. I would like to meet with council, and I will promise it will be a very quick executive session, but I want to uh, go over this. This is a, uh, I want you to know what's really going on. Uh, also, last Friday, I believe, uh, Officer Schmidt had a uh, Pennsylvania Labor Relations Board complaint issued against the borough. That's all I have. So from executive session, I, there's expected to be no action afterwards. There correct? should be no action uh, on, e on the, issue, the legal issue. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Sure. All right. <clears throat> Moving on to unfinished business part one. We have ordinance number 1181, an ordinance authorizing the borough of Emmaus to enter into an intergovernmental cooperation agreement with the boroughs of Albertus and McCungee and the townships of Lower McCungee, Lower Milford, and Upper Milford to implement the Southwestern Lehigh County Comprehensive Plan, including provisions relating to purpose, powers, and scope of authority, Southwest Lehigh Steering Committee, adoption of conforming ordinances, general consistency, developments of regional significance and impact, implementation roles and responsibilities, <laughs> annual reports, Amendment and review of the plan, dispute resolution, effective date, and termination. We had our first reading on October 15th. 
of 2018. So this is the second reading. Is there a motion to approve the ordinance number 1181? Motion by Councilman Barrett. Is there a second? Second by Councilwoman McManaman. Any comments or questions? Okay, this is a roll call vote. Councilwoman Baumgartner? Aye. Councilman Barrett? Aye. Councilwoman McManaman? Aye. Councilman Shubsta? Aye. Councilman Anders? Aye. Councilman Dufresne? Aye. Passes with a 6 0 vote. Next on our list is ordinance number 1182. This is a little shorter. An ordinance of the Borough of Emmaus, Lehigh County, Pennsylvania, amending ordinance 1099 of chapter 15, subsection 602.2.a of the Emmaus Borough Code, removing a residential handicap parking sign on the public street located in front of 624 Walnut Street within the Borough of Emmaus. Again, we had our first reading October 15th, 2018, so this is the second reading. Is there a motion to approve ordinance number 1182? Motion by Councilman Barrett. Is there a second? Second by Councilman Anders. Any comments or questions? Okay, this is also a roll call vote. Councilwoman Baumgartner? Aye. Councilman Barrett? Aye. Councilwoman McManaman? Aye. Councilman Shubsta? Aye. Councilman Anders? Aye. Councilman Dufresne? Aye. Passes with a 6 0 vote. New business. There are no items under new business. Unfinished business part two. There are no items under unfinished business part two. Items not on the agenda. Does anyone from council have any items to discuss that are not on the agenda tonight? Next, we have the mayor's report. Thank you. Um, as you can see on your iPads is my quarterly report. Other than that, progress. Thank you, that was quick. <laughs> All right, next we're gonna to go to committee reports. Uh, Public Works will turn <clears throat> to Chairman Anders for his report. Yes, I have uh, one piece for official action this evening, and that would be the offering of the full-time um, Public Works employee position. Um, this would be for a motion for Sean Lawrence, the position uh, contingent upon his successfully passing the background check, and the salary be to be determined by the uh, borough manager. Okay, so we have a motion. Is there a second? Second by Councilman Barrett. Any comments or questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. Passes with a 6-0 vote. And beyond that, our next meeting will be December 10th at 3.30 p.m. I'll report progress. Thank you, Mr. Anders. We'll move to Health, Sanitation, and Codes. Uh, Chairman Shubsta. Uh, nothing for official action. Uh, you could see our committee notes are there. There's a, a lot of stuff going on right now, as everyone's aware, uh, within that uh, committee. Uh, so our next meeting is scheduled for November 28th at 4.30 p.m. Report progress. Thank you. <clears throat> next, we'll go to Parks and Recreation. Chairwoman Baumgartner. Our next meeting is November 6th at 4.30, so tomorrow. And report progress. Next is, thank you, next is public safety. Uh, that's myself here. Nothing to report here. Uh, so we'll report progress. Our next meeting so that was scheduled for November 14th at 9.15 a.m. has been canceled. Wes, I apologize. I didn't give you a heads up here. You're going to take over general administration in Mr. Labenberg's absence. All right. I'll do just that then. Uh, <laughs> executive decision. <laughs> Let me just... Um, let me get his agenda. There. Hire Haver or something. Yeah, that's the only one. I just wanted to make sure, correct? Yep. Yeah, okay. So um, as we did with the uh, borough roof, uh, we hired uh, Haber Stump Roofing. Uh, this time it's for as to be a consultant for the library roof repair. Uh, the uh, cost, cost for consulting is 18000 and the materials will cost 16000 And... Um, we will pay the supplier directly. I'll place that in the form of a motion. 
be good shape. Yeah, that you're going to be hiring Haber Stump Roofing. Yeah, to hire Haber Stump Roofing at a consulting cost of 18000 18, is the motion, correct? That is correct. Okay, is there a second? Seconded by Councilman Anders. Any comments or questions? I just want to know that this is with this is within our budget just to clarify right yes yes and this and this is also money saving absolutely effort. okay shane is there a time frame that they will be starting this work uh our plan is to start prepping uh, as soon as possible obviously things change with other priorities that's why i just asked thank you any other comments or questions okay so all in favor say aye aye, aye. aye. Those opposed, no. Passes with a 6-0 vote. Uh, there are no other items for general administration that require official action, so I'll report progress. Thank you. Uh, next, we'll go back to Chairman Barrett for the Budget and Finance Committee report. Yes, we have one item that requires official action, and that is our bill list, 2018-37, and I'll place that in the form of a motion. We have a motion. Anybody second? Seconded by Councilwoman Baumgartner. Any comments or questions on the bill list? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. Passes with a 6-0 vote. Uh, there are no other, no other items that require official action. Progress. Next, we will go to Community Relations Planning and Development, Chairwoman McManaman. Uh, we have two items for official action tonight. Mr. Solicitor, may I ask you to give just a brief e explanation of the resolution to conditionally approve the final lot line? Certainly. For 421, 431. I'll be glad to. Out. Basically, all we're doing is adjusting a lot line. Uh, it, it is governed by your saldo, so we have to go through a, a basically an approved plan and approve this uh, formally, and that's all this does. I don't believe there's any waivers as I looked at this earlier, uh, other than um, there, I shouldn't say that, there are four waivers under paragraph three, because um, normally you have to do a preliminary plan and then a final plan, you're consolidating them, that's one thing. They're all minor. There's one relating to the location of map scale. Uh, there's one re relating to additional landscaping and buffer. And then there's some relating to uh, trees. Other than that, this is just a simple change of a lot line. Okay. But it does need your approval. OK, thank you. Um, can I go ahead and make a motion to approve the resolution number 2018-36 a resolution conditionally approving the final lot line adjustment plan for Frederick L. Saracino, 421-431, State Ave. We have a motion. Anybody like to second that? Seconded by uh, Councilman Shubsta. Any questions or comments? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. Passes with a 6-0 vote. Um, just we, so you're aware, that requires a signature from everyone. So please stick around the sign. Because that, the, if I may, that the plan has to be recorded, and so they need all the signatures of those voting. I realize one's missing right now. Uh, I'd also like to make a motion to appoint John Fernbacher to the Community Garden Commission with a term ending January 1st, 2021. So we have a motion to appoint Mr. Fernbacher. Is there a second? Second. Second by Councilwoman Baumgartner. Any comments or questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. Passes with a 6-0 vote. <clears throat> Our next meeting is Wednesday, November 14th at 4.30. I report progress. Okay, next you can see in your packets the notes from many of our boards and commissions in the borough. We had a chance to read those. Next on the list is personal appeals part two. Again, if there's any members of the public that has a personal appeal, come to the microphone, sign in, state your name and address, and you have five minutes for your personal appeal. I 
just forgot to mention something. Um, the week before Old Fashioned Christmas, we have our Shop Small, Small Business Saturday. Um, so I've been collecting items from local businesses, members and non-members, um, just to put into tote bags. And we're giving those to 100 community members for free just to help advertise businesses in the borough. So the idea is that they come down that day and celebrate local businesses, but the coupons, freebies, and flyers that they take home with them will stick with them and they'll think to return. Um, Y'all are more than welcome to join us that day. If you'd like a tote bag, I'd be more than happy to reserve one for you. Just let me know. Um, but I forgot about that. So thank you. Thank you, Ms. Laura. Any other appeals from the public? Seeing none, we'll go to Mr. Pepe for the borough manager's report. Um, hmm. uh, the revenue and expense items for October uh, are in your iPads. If you have any questions on those, please feel free to ask. Pretty sure you guys are aware of all of those at this point. Um, we're beating that thing to death. Um, I hired Melissa Hennis uh, as a part-time EMT. Uh, <coughs> Melissa has volunteered with us for the better part of the last year. Um, you see the memorandum in your iPads as well as to her credentials. I'm very excited that uh, Melissa will be joining us uh, as an EMT. Um, and I think I'll report progress at this point unless you have any questions for me. Oh, um, I, I do have one other thing. Uh, after your budget and finance, or actually, after your budget workshop on Thursday, so we have to be done about 6.30. Uh, big night for Planning Commission. The convenience store will be on the agenda for planning. The Commerce Center uh, on Broad Street will be on the agenda for planning. And phases four and five of the fields at Indian Creek will be on the agenda for planning. So that will, sounds to me like it's a several hour meeting. Um, but those are the three big developments that are in consideration uh, in the borough and they all seem to be on the agenda at one time at the Planning Commission. Um, so, um, as far as uh, progress with them, uh, it looks like phases four and five are pretty advanced in their plans for, for the housing project. So uh, that may get a recommendation out of, out of, uh, out of the commission. Um, so far on the engineer's review, there are a lot of open-ended questions on the other two developments. So I'm not sure that they will be making any recommendations coming out of, of Thursday's meeting, but I, I can't, I don't know for sure. But based on the initial reviews from, from the engineer, it doesn't sound like uh, the other two are in the advanced stages of being ready to be recommended. Now I'll report progress unless you have questions for me. Any questions for the borough manager? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Pepe. Next on the list is the president's business. As you heard earlier tonight, we're going to have an executive session on some legal issues. Uh, we do not expect to have any action taken on the meeting uh, from the executive meeting um, we will hang around before we go into executive meeting if there's any questions from the media so you don't have to wait for us to come back uh, with that said we're going to take a recess at 7 34 p.m i'm no rookie <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. Uh, council is reconvening at 8:48. Uh, for the record, Councilman Leidenberg arrived during executive session at 8.05. Is there a motion to adjourn? Councilman Barrett, second. Yes, please. Councilwoman McManaman. Yes, please. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. Seven ayes, meeting adjourned at 8.49.